Hello Techies, welcome to TechBlooms. Uh, in this video, we will be doing on how to draw the ULS diagram and, the UL and get the ULS path for a CMOS logic design. So, ULS path is basically uh, derived from a CMOS logic. Now, first, for, to have a uh, ULS diagram, we need to have a CMOS logic. So, let's look at how to do that. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to TechBlooms and don't forget to click the bell icon for instant updates. So, let's begin now. Here is the expression that is f is equal to a d plus c plus d c. Now using this expression we need to get the CMOS logic. Now once we get the CMOS logic we need, can get the ULS diagram and ULS path. Now before getting ULS diagram and ULS path, uh, I have already done a video on how to get or how to design or how to construct a CMOS uh, logic from a given expression. Now I will be giving the link in the description, you all can go and watch it. Now I will be continuing. As uh, assuming that you all have already watched that video, I have drawn the CMOS logic. Now, this is the CMOS logic that is above will be the PMOS and the below will be the NMOS. Now, this is the PMOS logic for this expression and this is the NMOS logic. Now, uh, the, the, the way of constructing this, I have already made some videos. I will be posting the link in the description, you can go through that. Now, here I will be briefly explaining you on how to do this. So, basically, here we can see that A is in uh, parallel with your D and E, and B, is, uh, B and C are both parallel and they are in series with A, D and E. Now, if the NMOS is just the inverse of that. Now, here you can see A is parallel to D and E, but in this case it is in series, that is A is in series with D parallel E. So, it is just the opposite of uh, PMOS and NMOS. Now, now from this uh, CMOS logic, we can construct the ULS diagram. Now, let's look at how to get that. Now, for that purpose, now here are certain steps you need to follow. First thing is, you need to name the nodes. You have to get the names to each of your nodes. Now I will be naming certain nodes. Now as in case uh, this, this, this node, this also creates a node because there are two transistors which are connected here and this node and this node can be seen. This node, this node and this node is seen. This node and this node. And this is the final node. Okay, this node also will be connected to this node. Now here we have to name that node. So I will name it as 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have named my nodes. Now after naming your nodes, you need to separate your PMOS and NMOS. Now you need to get a separate ULS diagram for your PMOS and a separate ULS diagram for your NMOS. Now let's look at how to get that. Now I'll write here, this is your N PMOS and NMOS. First thing is get the ULS diagram. I will tell you how to get that ULS diagram. Now each transistor is assumed to be an edge. Now we will be doing it separately. So I'll make a mark here. So this PMOS will get a ULS diagram and this NMOS will get an ULS diagram. So there will be two ULS diagram and there will be two ULS paths also. So let's look at that. Now as, as I said, you need to assume each transistor as a H. Transistor is assumed to be an H. So this will be your A. This will be your A, D, D, E. This is your 1, 3, this is your transistor A, transistor D, transistor E and the lower part that is B and C. B, C and this point is 4. Now as you know 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this is how you got your, your Euler's diagram for your and PMOS. Now let's look at a Euler's diagram for your PMOS that is A, D and E. So we will have on top A. D, E and you have B and C. So this point is 4, this point is uh, 4, 5, 7 and we have, we need to join it to this part. So here we have um, 6. So what is this? This is your A. This is your D, this is your E, and this is your B and C. Now, 
from this Euler's diagram we can get the Euler's bar. Now how is that? Now for that we need to follow certain rules and with that rules we can achieve Euler's path. Now let's look at that. So first thing, now basically path is nothing but traversing, right? So how do we traverse? The path should be should be same for both PMOS as well as NMOS. The path needs to be same. You have to traverse in the same way have you have traversed here, meaning in the same, not the same uh, pattern uh, direction, but it should be same pattern. That is transistor pattern that is A, D, E. If you traverse A, D, E, you need to traverse here also as A, D, E only, not the path, okay? Don't assume that the path is just the traversing of the transistors. You have to traverse the same transistors as you traversed in case of PMOS and in the same as in case of NMOS also. Now path should be same in both the case. Second thing, start anywhere. You can start anywhere. You can start your traversing anywhere and you can end it anywhere. Third thing is, do not traverse twice. You are not supposed to traverse a path twice. For example, you are moving from A to B. You cannot come back to A again from B. Because you need to, you should not traverse a path twice. That are, these are the three, we have these rules. Now let's look at how to do them. Now I will be, uh, now here, this is a trial and error method. Until and unless you get the same paths, you need to try. Now first we have to try it for PMOS, then we will go for NMOS or you can go from NMOS and come to PMOS. It uh, basically depends upon you. How do you do that? Having known the rules, now let's look at how to get the Euless path. So we can get Euless path as like this. Uh, we can have a path from A, B, going to C, E and D, back again. So you have A, B, C, E, D. So this can be your path that is moving from node 1, A, B, C, E, D. Now we need to check if we get the similar path in case of NMOS also. So from if A, can we go to B? Yes. Then C, then E, then back again D. Yes. This path is available. So A, B, C, E and D. So here also it is A, B, C, E and D. So in both the case we have got the Euless path. So this is how we need to get the Euless path from the Euless diagram. Now Euless diagram we got it from CMOS logic. Now CMOS logic we have constructed it from the expression. So from expression we can get the CMOS logic and from the CMOS logic we get the Euless diagram and from the Euless diagram we get the Euless path. That's it for this video. Hope you understood. If you have any queries please do comment, like, share and subscribe. Take blooms. Thank you.